Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Saturday the 31st of December 2022. Happy New Year everyone, I hope your celebrations go really well and safely tonight. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube, it's called Psychic Cafe, I would love to see you in there. In that I give mini reads for donations, so if you've got a burning question for your higher self or you want guidance for a particular thing in your life, come along in there, it's by donation. Find the next show, Lainey and Wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. If you're interested in a private reading with me, they're available from my website, behealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. I get them out within 48 hours if you're ordering them, so they're not always available. If it says it's all sold out, it's just sold out for the day. Check that back a day or so late, just so, and you should be able to get something coming up. What's in the energies for everybody today? We've got beneath the surface. Oh, there's emotions beneath the surface. There's not coming out. Things simmering away. Not being said. being communicated somehow what else guardian you're being protected from something someone's not saying something because they're protecting you from something or someone got meditate might, might make you angry I just heard someone holding something back you might need to meditate in order to calm yourself down to clear your mind someone's not communicating something emotional to you What's new is just what I heard is, is like this isn't changing. Someone's not doing it, still not doing it. Mm. The devil, yeah. <laughs> There's a bit feisty energy around today. Be careful out there tonight. Um, the devil could be quite annoying. I'm getting that. It could be quite annoying that someone isn't still, is still not saying something and it's emotional. Could be a member of your family or something. We've got the lovers out with the six of presents here. So a lover being reciprocal. Perhaps a lover isn't being reciprocal today or perhaps one is. <laughs> I was told to take those two together. So there we go. Taking them together. Lovers and reciprocation. Perhaps you're ready for that now. Perhaps a lover isn't reciprocating. You're communicating with them. They're not communicating with you. And perhaps it's time to pull your energy back and wait for a lover that will reciprocate. You know, someone that puts as much skin in the game as you do, makes as much effort as you do. But the five of candles got a bit of a battle on our hands today, a bit of a fight. Be careful out there again tonight. Yeah, these energies aren't that great for um, big celebrations. Sorry to say. Hmm. And these two are out together. What else? We have the two of presents along with the eight of presents. So there could be a decision about work, what work you want to make. You could be thinking about leaving work and, and starting in a new place or something like that. Oh, it could be a boss that isn't saying something or making you emotional in some kind of a way. Yeah, you could be making a decision about leaving a workplace today. Tell us about this devil energy. The ten of wands. It's burdensome to you. Whatever's going on today is burdensome to you and you're over it. It just feels like you're over it to me that kind of an energy and, and so your dark side is kind of coming out you know you could get rebellious with all of it so you're struggling with yourself today with that dark side it's like telling them where to shove the job or something like that because they won't communicate Ooh, okay the lovers and the six of presents a lover is or isn't let's see reciprocal reciprocating they're putting the effort in or they're not something like that uh maybe not because the three of swords but i guess it just depends on all of your way you're at with all of this kind of stuff you're still letting people in that aren't making an effort in your life don't even get into relationships with them they're not making an effort the relationship won't happen unless you're making all the effort so don't do it Hmm. queen of swords cut it out boundaries come on boundaries if they're not making an effort the relationship doesn't happen then, you know. Don't balance it up by putting more effort in. If someone isn't making an effort, take it as a sign that they're not making an effort. So this isn't a relationship. Queen of Wands, very attractive right now. You see, you can attract much better in. For some of you, you can attract much better in. Someone that is reciprocal. 
Some of you might already be in that energy. You no longer break your own heart by making too much effort in relationships. You notice when someone isn't making the effort, you just go, oh, well, <laughs> they're not invested in this. I'm going to move on to someone that is invested or that will invest. Omens and emotional release. Some of you have held on in there in a relationship for too long. And you're putting those boundaries up going, you know what, this reciprocation isn't that. I'm letting this one go. Five of candles, not without a fight though. There's a bit of a fight here. Who are we fighting? Huh? Do you want to be on my army? <laughs> I've got a strong army here. Five of candles with the knight of swords. Someone that, oh, this is a kind of a character that they know. They know it all kind of thing. They want to be right. Um, yeah, I've got the truth kind of thing. And they won't be swayed. This is someone that doesn't learn. They won't be taught. They're not coachable. They're not teachable. They'll never change their mind about anything. You're in a fight with them today. You know the kind of person that they just know it and they know it and they think it's true and that's it. It's fact. And it isn't. It's an opinion, but it's, it's someone like that. So you're in a fight with someone like that today or you could be. Slow but steady. No, it's not that one. It's these two. Reunion of souls. It's someone that comes back into your life. It could be someone from your family if you're spending time around family over this holiday period. And integration, living together, that kind of thing. It's tricky for you. You, you get on each other's last nerve, for sure. And that's what could all of this could be about, in fact. That's what all of this could be about. Two of presents and the eight of presents. Something about like leaving a job behind or something like that. It feels like that to me. Like you put a lot of work into something. You're making a new decision. Oh, it could be relationship too. You have make you put a lot of work into something, eight of presents. You're not gaining those um, that reciprocation back. So you're deciding to cut it out, to leave that. For your justice, your nine of cups, your wishes are important. Yeah, For you to get back what is the balance to your energy is important. So you need to find it where it is. What I mean by that is go to the people that can. And it's like, well, I can't tell who you can. It's like, well, you can. You can. You can't tell beforehand, no. But when you get into some kind of an arrangement with them, be it a job, be it um, you know, dating or whatever, you can tell if they're not respecting you, if they're not putting the energy into it. You can tell. And you can nip it in the bud straight away. We don't need to be able to predict it. But we need to be able to notice those behaviours. And as I said, not overgiving that situation. Don't try and redress the balance by yourself. It's going to get even more out of balance. Just notice when it's not balanced and then they go, okay, next. And then if the next person doesn't as well, okay, next. And just wait for someone that does. Don't get invested into anything until someone else invests in you. There's duality in sacred space. So a part of you is torn here and duality. Tard a, part of, tard of you. a part of you doesn't, want to let go of something because you've invested too much in it already and a part of you wants to let go well let go of it you've invested too much already that means that you were prepared to get into an imbalanced situation don't be prepared to get into an imbalanced situation it's never going to come good even though you've invested into it it's never going to come good if it's imbalanced from the start it's just never going to come good you just need to get faster at noticing the imbalances what about our love lives today? Oh, not the best, is it? It's not like party atmosphere kind of reading this. Heavy. Embrace. Through each other you find the missing pieces. Oh, in our love lives today. Oh, someone new. Perhaps you find the missing pieces in someone new. Perhaps you need to turn and face someone new. Get Put yourself out there. See who's out there. See who's got those missing pieces for you, what you haven't experienced before. Not the pieces that are missing in you. There's nothing missing in you. But the pieces that are missing in life. Those experiences that you've not had yet. Those things in relationships that you haven't had yet. Look for those. Look for those missing pieces. And be proud of yourself. You're great. Be very proud of yourself. You've learned so much. And you've, you've survived so much as well. I know you guys that are watching me. You're doing great. Really. You're the leaders in all of this. You are. So give yourself a tap on the back. I know sometimes it sucks that you're still single. But when you're a leader, there's not that many people to pick from out there. You've got fear coming up in romantic relationships. So you might be by yourself and feeling what another year? Another year's gone down and still nobody? Are you serious, universe? Yes, yes there's some personal... 
personal angst and all of that. Fear of codependency. Right, so some of you are scared of getting back into codependency again. And yes, I think this reading is all about that. I think I think some of your codependent traits could still be coming out. Um, that needing to be needed, that willing to put way too much into things. You just set yourself free from that heartbreak. Some of you are breaking your own heart. That's what I got before. With that three of swords, some of you are breaking your own heart by continuously getting into the wrong kind of relationships. And like I said, you don't need to predict it. Some of you all, you think you're watching these readings and stuff because you want to predict it. It's like, well, is this the one I'll invest in this one? Everything. Instead of like just investing a little bit and then noticing if it's reciprocated. Just let the process, let them show you who they are. You don't know beforehand and then put everything into it because a reading said that they're the right person. If they're not showing that right behavior. And don't wait for them to show the right behavior either. Take people face value. Put a little bit in. If it comes back, put a little bit more in. If that comes back, put a little bit more in and, and go like that. Some of you are just too good at, at unconditional loving. Save that for your children. Don't do it in romantic relationships. Set yourself free from that heartbreak. You've been breaking your own heart is what I'm hearing. Some of you. With that code, the codependency kind of thing. The willingness to put it all in. Once someone, once you've like dated someone, got to know someone, all of that kind of thing, the show that they're reciprocal, the show that they're invested, they've proved to you that they deserve all of that. Then turn on your 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 unconditional love light, but don't do it off the bat because you're just going to get yourself into trouble there. Lust. Lust seems to be a problem here. You might be getting involved with people that it's, it's just a lust kind of a, um, a connection. And some of you are falling in love, floating on air. Some of you do this. And then break your own heart because you're doing it based on a lust connection. And you think it's more than that because you heard a reading and it was really positive And it's like, this must be them. And then you tell yourself a story that you can go all in. And you go all in and then it doesn't reciprocate. So just be careful today if you've had those patterns. Mm. For some of you this could be good, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it today. I'm feeling like this is a warning of old patterns repeating. Be careful. I know some of you fall in love with the stories. Mm, okay. What else is in the energies today? We've got the sun, happiness and well-being. There you go. Have a happy day. What else? Oh, fair man. Forest, muddle on clear thinking. So this could be a man with fair hair or it could be fair balanced man kind of thing. But you're unclear thinking about them. You're not seeing them correctly. Lightning, control your anger or you'll be sorry. Ah, that's like devil energy. It's the first card out of the devil energy. So this is, yeah, pay attention. Let's get one more. What's that one? A wreath, sorrow over a loss. Some of you are mourning a loss. Yeah, some of you could be looking back over the year and mourning what has happened. And still can't believe it. This was supposed to be our year, wasn't it? Wasn't 2022 supposed to be our year? And that, yeah, another year goes by and we seem to be in the same position. In a holding kind of a pattern for some of us, holding out for what we truly want and truly deserve, and learning about ourselves as we go. So, think of a yes or no as a question because I got a red and a green crystal in this bag. It's like this is such a deflating reading. It's like, yeah, happy new year, everyone. Woo. Let's hope it's better next year. Think of a yes or no answer question because I got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer, but this is just a bit of fun because this is a general reading. If you want me to pull this out, one of these out for you for a particular question you've got, come along to my live show sometime. You can find the next show laying your way on my YouTube by clicking the healing down there. I can use them in private readings as well. Book yourself in. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. After you've booked in, click on the Contact Us page. You can put your questions in there if you do have questions for a private reading. You don't have to have questions. I'll just channel you know my job okay how best to deal with these energies today strength be strong be strong hang on in there be strong be courageous and hang on in there don't lose it don't lose it now think of a yes or no answer question now is 2023 gonna be better is it yes yes there's some hope there we go 
Well, try and have the best Happy New Year that you can. I hope your celebrations do go well and I hope that these energies don't disrupt it too much for you and that you're on the right side of them all. Happy New Year. Um, let's, let's manifest a better year, hey? For 2023 let's do that let's do that well click like before you click off this video down there leave a comment and click on that subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me too i do one of these energy updates every single day of the year i go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show and i make three love pick a card reads a week as well you can find one of those right there right now watch that next and have the best day ever happy new year i'll see you tomorrow bye